Yeah, welcome to this website, The Last Reformation. This is a new website, so it's not totally finished, but uh, already now you can see different videos, testimonies. Uh, you can uh, read some of my books for free in English, and, uh, and yeah, and in the future there's going to come a lot of more inside this website. The name The Last Reformation is because I've written a book in Danish called The Last Reformation. It's not yet uh, translated to English, but right now people are getting it translated to, to English, so I hope that soon it's going to be in English. I just got an email some days ago that uh, somebody wants to publish it in Sweden, so it's going to get out in Sweden in May, April this year, so I look forward to that to see how uh, what the book is going to do in Sweden because the book has done a lot of things in many people's hearts and the way of viewing Christianity, the way of viewing church and for me I think that it's so important that we understand what church is and this is some of it what the book is about that we are church, I'm the body of Christ church is not something you do Sunday morning Church is something you are. You are church. And, and if we start to understand that, and in the same time understand who we are in Christ, and that we are not just Christian, but we are disciples, and Christ has given us a commandment, and we have to obey that commandment. And one of the things he has said is, Go out, heal the sick, and preach the kingdom of God is, on, in, is near. And I think that, that we have tried a lot of things as Christians, but we lack still one thing, just to do what Jesus has commanded us, to obey Him. And what I have found out the last years is that, that Jesus truly is the same yesterday, today and forever. And I have a lot of testimonies of that, how God is leading us today, how Jesus is speaking to us, testimonies that's almost like the book of Acts where, where God is leading with his Holy Spirit where people are getting healed and, and, and delivered and, and of course saved, saved. And, and I want to on this website tell some of the t uh, testimonies some of the things I have experienced to encourage you to show you what it's all about what is it all about what is a disciple of Jesus Christ just two days ago God gave me a dream in the dream I was standing in a state church in Denmark and I was standing in the clothes that priests in Denmark wear in the state church and, and it didn't fit me and I, I didn't know where I should put my hands and everything but but and then I was standing there and I was like, okay, what I'm doing here? And two priests were standing in front of me. And one of the priests went to the pulpit, pulpit and he said something. And I was shocked. And he said, Tom is here today. And he's here to heal the sick. And he's here to learn us to heal the sick. So come, Tom. And I was shocked. And I went up to the pulpit in the dream. And I was standing there beside this priest, and he said, Tom, do what you are going to do. Heal the sick. Learn us to heal the sick. And I was like, okay. And I was shocked because I had the garment on me. I was not used to stand in the state church. And suddenly I'm standing there in the dream, and everything is open. Just heal the sick. And, and I went out and I said, who's sick? And I took some people down, you and you and you come down here. And I prayed for them and people got healed. And I was doing like I normally do when I was on mission. I was shouting, in the name of Jesus, be free. And, and I was very bold. And then suddenly I turned around and in the dream I saw the priest from the state church doing the same thing I was doing. They were also healing the sick and shouting the way I was doing. They were casting out demons. And I saw it and I was like surprised and shocked and, and, and glad. And then I woke. And, and, and it was a very strong dream for me. And, and we have a Bible school called Pioneer School. So when I went to the Pioneer School, I was telling the people, the students, about the dream God had given me. And I said to one of them, okay, now 
we need to see how God is going to come and confirm this dream. Now we're going to wait for God. One hour later, I got an email from a state church priest, another end of Denmark, and he wrote to me, Hi Tom, I want, you, I want to ask you if you this Sunday can come and learn us to heal the sick. And for me it was so strong because this Sunday I had said no if it was not because of the dream. Because Friday and Saturday I'm going to another place to have a meeting. But because of the dream I knew that yes this is what God wanted me to do. So I called him and I told him about the dream. And he was so surprised because the one weekend ago, one week ago, they were together with some people and they, they were talking about how they want to do church in a new in a new way. He had read my book, The Last Reformation, and they want to do church in a new way. Like I'm writing in the book and what we are reading in, in the Bible. And and they were talking about how they want to be led by the Spirit more. And when they talk about that they need to be led more by the Spirit, he thought about me. And at the same, and this week, they also had with the young people who's going to be confirmed in the state church, they, they're going to talk about how they can heal the sick. And again, they, talk, they were thinking about me. So he write to me, and yeah, and I was led by the Spirit. God gave me a dream, and I was going there, and in the dream, I was healing the sick and learning them to heal the sick. And this is so wild, and this is just our testimony this week, two days ago, how God is leading His people by dreams, how God is speaking to the Holy Spirit. And inside this website, uh, thelastreformation.com, I'm going to make a lot of videos where I'm going to share some of the testimonies. And, and I want to encourage you because you can see a change where you are. Just uh, some one month ago, a guy, and two months ago, a guy from the Philippines, a pastor, called me. He had seen some of our videos and he was very encouraged because what he saw. And he write, they called me and said that they wanted to go from the Philippines to Denmark to went to be on our Bible school, the primary school. And I talked with him over the telephone and I just encouraged him, go out, do it, come on, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. And then he called me some weeks later and he was like, whoa, Tom, it's happening now. We were at McDonald's and I started to share the testament and share the gospel and people got saved. And, and now 17 people have got saved and, and just some days ago he called me again. And, and because of what happened, the people who got saved told their friends about it. And some week, one week ago, they gathered, gathered over 120 people in their garden. And they have a meeting in their garden with 120 people and so many got saved. And now he had called me to ask if I want to go to the Philippines to be together with them. And this is like, he, this is almost the other end of the world. We have Denmark here, Philippines is down here. But because of the videos he saw, he already now started to do it. And 120 people, he said, have got saved. And, and they're gathering people, and now it's like a revival who started it. And the pastors from the other churches looking and saying, what is happening here? So we have a lot of testimonies, and, and I hope that you will look at the videos we have inside the lastreformation.com and, and also wait and come back again, because in the future we are going to make more videos with more testimonies. So welcome to this website. God bless you very much. Amen.